dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Machinarium. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. everybody, today is August the 27th, and we're taking a look at the downloadable video game, Point and Click Adventure, Machinaria. That's right, and this came out in 2009, and it was first for, let's see, it was first, first for Windows and Mac and all those other things, then it got ported over to iPad in some time like 2010 or 2011, and now it's finally made its way over to console in the form of PlayStation Network. And it is now free for PlayStation Plus. Free! Oh my god, free for PlayStation Plus, which actually brings up, and this is just a little side note here. Um, but it brings up the fact that this game, um, in 2010, it was it was checked and estimated only five to fifteen percent of the people who own this game actually paid for this. No. Yeah, which sucks. So what? Well, they, I legally got it for free. Yeah. So what they ended up doing? What they ended up doing was um, they lowered the price from twenty bucks to five bucks so that people who pirated the move the, the game can you know buy it and redeem themselves. And then they sold something like twenty thousand copies. So, uh, they, yay, but no, yeah, okay. Twenty dollars is a, well, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. Um, anyways, uh, so the plot follows a young robot. Well, I don't know how young he is. Robots are ageless. Um, but Joseph, as he, uh, Joseph actually is being named after the first person to coin the term robot. Uh, Joseph, what is his last name? Kepek, Kepek, I think. Um, so Joseph is a robot, and he must. Uh, stop the dastardly deeds of the Black Cap Brotherhood, who are essentially three character, three robots with black hats or caps they have or been whatever. Total bastards. Yeah, who are they. total bastards. They're just bullies and mean, and they're going to blow up this tower. And so he mu- and Joseph must stop them. And it's pretty much a point and click uh, uh, game, you know, where you just kind of go around searching for things and solve the little puzzles. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So take it away. Um, the reason I wanted to play this was because of the artwork, but. Right. Yeah, I remember it being a little bit expensive, and it didn't get great reviews. It got kind of, you know, mediocre plus, and I can understand why. But I think those that really uh, love the art and like the point and click would probably have a lot of fun here. There's definitely some frustration in it, and I guess we'll just kind of get right in it. Um, this world is a lot of fun. It's very cute, but also, you know, we kept saying, like, is this a French thing? Because it did kind of have this interesting slant you know, I don't know, I think of, like, Triplets of Baskerville and, like, just kind of a little bit off comedies. Yeah. And it has, like, this lost in translation for us a little bit. So it's kind of like, oh, I wonder if that's just because it's, like, a Euro game, you know, kind of thing. Anyway, whatever. Uh, it, it's very cute and endearing from the start. Um, but there are so many very subtle things. And actually, it's kind of cool when you think about it. Because it's, it's cool that this part of the, you know, puzzle just blends in so well that you might not see it right away. But... So many times I was frustrated. And actually, you I watched you play through the game, actually. Yeah, the entire And game. you got a lot of things faster than me, and then I got some things faster than you. So it's interesting to see how our brains work differently. But for me, I have a slight a color blindness. So when I'm like trying to find the slightly red, it doesn't pop out to me at all. Right. So I just have to kind of click and try. And you did that a lot, too, even though you, you found them quicker than me. You're just randomly clicking everywhere. And that's kind of what you have to do because it is so subtle. Um, now, having said that, some of the puzzles are really fun. Uh, there's a lot of, like, locks that you have to, like, light in a certain series or yeah. turn on in a certain way or move a certain way or whatever. It does the classic puzzles, which I can't remember what they call it, but when you have a puzzle and they have the blocks, you got to slide and make the puzzle. I think those are just slide blocks or I don't slide know. puzzles. That's, I don't... Whatever. Uh, whatever they're called, uh, you know, uh, it has that. It has... Again, lights that you have to click in a different series, and it has actually little miniature video games that you get to play. Yeah, those stuff. are so those are kind of there's, there's, yeah. There's, there's a lot to it, and yeah. you do have to pay attention. You have to kind of listen to some of the characters, which is fun. You got to remember. And by listen, he means really just watch what yeah, their like, little burr, 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 burr. yeah, watch watch what their little thought bubbles come up and say to do. Right, and that's kind of cool. I like that exposition. It's like instead of having a conversation, you just see little short you know animation in a cloud you know a thought cloud right uh of what's going on or what happened or what that person wants you know like i want you know some oil or whatever so then you got to go figure out what tools you have and make it work 
Um, now, because of the nature of being a point-and-click adventure, there are some things that on the console take even extra long. Yeah. I'm looking at you, inventory, because you have to keep going up to the inventory to drive the little thing and then try it, and if it doesn't work, then you have to do the next thing and whatever, so that's right. a little tedious. But it wasn't it wasn't terrible. No, but we, you did get really I, kind yeah. of frustrated with the whole up and down thing. Yeah, see, see with that, especially with... The robot can raise himself and lower himself. Right, so so he's essentially really tall or regular or kind of squatted down to this like really tiny thing. Um, they could have really done that so much better if they just made like you up know the D pad. The, yeah, this or the square square button um, being the up or down or the, in the triangle the opposite. Right. They definitely made the circle so you can drop whatever inventory item you had in hand. And they should have just kept on mapping buttons because really the only ones that you have to worry about is X and O, uh, and obviously the, the the thumbstick. So so some of the controls are are irritating and i i say that some of the puzzles are so elements are faded into the background right. that it becomes very frustrating but overall i mean when you solve a puzzle it's like yay you know that's fun and i love the little character stuff and it's cute and you know you sit down and you play a tic-tac-toe type of game with one guy and then you go outside and you find an arcade and you play little things but you have to power it up first and yada yada so there's a lot of little plug and play things like oh gee that's broken so i could take this part from this machine or this robot put it together you know all that stuff so it's all the stuff you have to trial and error and figure out now if that wasn't an you know enough they do actually have uh like this hint book as well you right. can go to at any time and it gives you this weird kind of schematic almost of things that happen in this stage right um there's a lot of backtracking between stages so sometimes the the hint will give you a first part of this and then the last part of another thing. So you have to kind of put the puzzle pieces together. And the thing about the hint book is it takes a long time to get to. Yes. Because you have to play this weird little key through the maze shooting spiders that sound like geese when they die. Right. It's a, it's a side-scroller <laughs> shooter. So yeah. essentially your key is a plane and these little spider things you have to shoot and <laughs> make it through the, 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 the little terrain areas. Yeah, which um, which I think is cool that they did it, but it's always the same right, every but time. What I, what I like about that is it, it's kind of like... Uh, I don't know what to do. I could go to the rules, but I really don't want to sit through that stupid game, so I'm not going to. And then it kind of forces you to solve the puzzle on your own before you finally give up and say, Fine, yeah, but that's I'll play just the stupid that's game. just a that's just a personality thing. If you're the type of person that's always going to the hint when you get frustrated after five minutes, then you probably shouldn't be playing this game. Period. That's true. I did definitely get hints probably three times. Yeah, twice. Um, um, well, yeah, but I was there too to help you. So. That's true. You were. Uh, but anyway, and uh, see, what's funny with playing with him though, uh, playing with him right right by, beside me is, is if I'm about to do something, he's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You know, so he's like, it's like playing hot and cold. You know. Well, yeah, yeah. I only passive, do that. passive aggressive <laughs> hot and cold. No, no, no. I only do that after. After about 10 minutes of you not figuring out it and i'm just trying to help i'm not yeah, trying no, to I know. and especially we were trying to get through it so that we could review it you know right. kind of thing so so i did try to let him uh, you know, do it uh, all himself because uh, it took me the same time in fact he was faster than me so i gotta give it uh, to you it was interesting though that yeah some of the puzzles it's like i had figured out right away and then i saw him struggle with them but then the opposite is like oh this will take him forever oh <laughs> <laughs> like shit there's an idiot now, you know so anyway so there is a lot to like about this game it's frustrating enough, though, that if I had paid money for this, I don't know. I don't know. It's so cute, though. It's yes. so cool. The Even art my is wife, awesome. My wife liked watching it, although the music gets repetitive because it kind of, like, while you're in a stage, it'll just kind of looping. Right. It didn't bother me, though. The soundtrack. It wasn't, it wasn't bad for me. It, you commented on it a couple times. Anyway, like that noise. That what is? I don't like that noise. That, yeah, that one noise. That whatever. that was annoying. That, there was that one noise. But is there? There's a fun little story, and I like that. There's no real dialogue, and it, yeah, I, I like that. And um, your little dude is just again super cute. Right. And for the most part, if you really study the level, you can figure out what you need to do. It's just a matter of can you spy that tiny pixel that says "pick me up," and you know, then you have to trial and error because what you do is yeah, point and click adventure. You, you hover over until your arrow turns into a little little robot right, fist icon. Your robot kind of has to be near that item as well. Right, like and you around. might have to be at the right level as well. So it's one of those things that it's just frustrating trial and error. Just minute differences it might be the difference between complete not understanding, failure, never finding anything, and success. Right. I'm, so. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, after playing this, I felt like such a badass, and I felt like redeemed for my... my efforts on stealth incorporated so if you watched our uh, our game labs on those I, I really sucked at that i was doing so bad um but this one made me feel so much better because the 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 uh, the, the puzzles were what i understood i understood these puzzles so
Maybe. So and they're they're definitely yeah, kind of a fun thing. So if it sounds interesting, again, it is free to PlayStation Plus members right now. There is a lot out there if you you know want to look at a trailer or whatever. And and but uh, honestly, I kind of had issues. I mean, I, I put the trailer, you saw it, but I, I kind of was a little bit, it gives away a lot. Like, it really does. There's a lot of moments where it's like, oh, well, I know I need to do this, so I'm just going to figure out how to, I, I don't know. Yeah, so if you're watching our video um, and you can retroactively not see what you saw, <laughs> do that. I just, I decided, you know, that's the trailer they show people, so yeah, I had yeah. to show a trailer, and I couldn't really find anything and, else. And so. we know, we know that you don't really watch the trailers, you, just, you watch our little figures in the corner, you yeah, just sure. kind of stare at us in the corner, so we know that that's what you do, and we appreciate that, thank you. Alright guys, so yes, I, I, I saw it a long time ago, and I really wanted to play it because of the art style, but I know, I, I kept off, but now there's no reason to stay off, and uh, if they make another one. I'll definitely take a look at that. I, I do. I do think that there's not much replay value because you've, you know, you figured it out. Yeah, you figured it all out. I mean, I guess you could go back and maybe Play do the some of the games. Yeah, the one. <laughs> well, there's which is essentially Space Invaders. It is Space Invaders. There's technically two. The other one's just a puzzle, though, so that doesn't really count. Um, uh, well, three if you count the guy's brain thing, but that's for later. Um, and and what was I gonna say? I was gonna say. Um, Oh, unless uh, uh, unless you want to go back and if there's any trophies that you missed, but I don't think there were a lot of trophies in this. So. Yeah, I don't think there were really any optional things. Yeah. There were there was like one or two things that the icon changed that were never useful. Yeah, we didn't really understand. I, so I don't know if they are something. Or somehow, if they're just another way of solving a puzzle. Or if they're just there. Yeah, yeah. There, there was I think two puzzles that I saw that there was actually two ways to figure it. It didn't even occur to me. I found the one right away. And he found the one later, so it was kind of interesting. I I, I think that's interesting. I I like that. I, yeah, I, I, I agree. Wish they do more of that. Although you know, I can see some points of frustration because I literally did spend ten or fifteen minutes being like, well, I already know the answer to that. Why am I looking at this? You know, so it was just a redundancy, and I didn't realize that until I saw him play. So anyway, I just had to at some point be like, I'll come back to it later, and then I never need it. You know, kind of thing. Hmm. Anyway, um, so that's it uh, for what it's worth. Uh, take a look if it sounds interesting. And don't steal games. Just just buy them or wait till they're free on PlayStation Plus. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow our great playlists. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if we're if I'm online, I'll talk to you all the time. That's right. We're both blogging as well. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, uh, little bits of the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look if you like it. Uh, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you next time. Again. Next time we take a look at Escape, the Curse of the Temple. This thing has been freaking perspiring for like yeah, yeah, it's... an hour and a half. Alright, well it's summer. He's talking about the, you know, the hairless cat that we have captive down here. Yes. Just perspires non nonstop. Yes, we have a hairless cat in the studio, right down there, and it's just constantly dripping with sweat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Don't know where we were going with that. I was gonna say a small uh, Puerto Rican boy or something like that, but I thought better of that. <laughs> yeah, that, that would probably not go as well. In fact, the hairless cat is kind of weird. <laughs> In fact, I think the hairless cat is a little more weird than this little Puerto Rican boy. Because I could just say the Puerto Rican boy is my, my cousin because my mom's Puerto Rican, therefore it's justified. But a hairless cat that's just constantly perspiring in our studio, <laughs> that's just a little weird. I don't think that's a little weird. <clears throat> but it could be. For nine ninety five, you could own that blueberry. He's talking about his soda. Yes, it's my soda. You know how it like just, yeah. Condensation. Yep, over and over and over. Where did you get that fine soda, sir? From a little place called Gingeritis. Gingeritis? Gingeritis. I like how they're taking their design clues from like Starbucks now. Frickin' frickin'. It's like, oh, everybody knows. It's an iconic face. We don't need to put the name on it. I mean, there is one small one, but that's it.
Just like Starbucks, they don't put Starbucks except for one little thing. It's just the big old logo, the stupid, you know, what's her bucket? Stupid uh, mermaid. Does thing. she have a name? Double tailed mermaid? mermaid? I don't Yeah, what is that? What, what is with the double tailed? I don't know. It's stupid. I've always hated it. She's a mermaid, but she's cooler than a mermaid. Because nothing says coffee she's like a mermaid. mermaid. Like a double mermaid. Yeah, double mermaid? It's like a double rainbow. Only with less boobs. Uh, 27th, it is a Tuesday. This came out in 2009. Anim- Why am I? Amanita. Amanita. Is it Amanita? Amanita? Amanita. 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 I'm gonna say Amanita. Amanita design. Amanita. Amanita. That's cute. What happened with you? <laughs> kind of funny to watch it. Chick, 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 chick. Are you all upset that I touched your gun? No. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm creeping in that. <laughs> you are seriously fondling my weapon. My apologies, internet. Not that I don't know.